In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the alert feature on your Garmin watch. Now, this is a really, really useful feature that a lot of people don't use. It's going to be really, really effective in training and racing. So I'll be set up correct fueling and drink times to make sure you can focus on efforts and not have to be distracted by looking for mile markers or times to figure out when you need to eat and drink. Let's set up some alerts then. So we can hit the start button here, head into our run, then we can scroll up into our run settings by going down here. We're going to go into our alerts here, and this is where we've got loads of options. So this is the one I use. I've set this currently at 25 minutes. I've put it as give it everything. This is a nice little motivation boost myself, but you have got the option of changing that here. So let's start a new one. Let's add a new one in here. So we're going to hit add new, custom. You can do it on heart rate, run walk ratios, paces, time, distance, all sorts of different information, different options you have. We're going to go into a custom one here. It's just a little easier what I find to do it. So we've got drink and eat as our two options here. Do turnarounds, go home. Again, custom options here as well. The main one we're to focus on though is eat. So we're here again, we can do this on time, distance. We're gonna do it on time because we, our body understands time. It doesn't understand distance. So we're gonna work with that. Now, generally speaking, when it comes to carbohydrates, we wanna be getting in around about every 30 minutes. Depending on how used to this you are, you can be going as low as 20 minutes, which is actually what I tend to go with. Although I just showed a moment ago 25. This is for training purposes rather than racing. So I'm going to go 20 minutes and then again, that's going to repeat. So we can change this setting. So by clicking back into again, using these buttons here, we've got our status on. You can turn this back off. So if you're doing training runs and you don't want to have that going off all the time, you can turn it off and on just very, very easily. So we're going to turn that back on. We're going to do frequency every 20 minutes. Now we're going to repeat. You might just want to have this as a one single timer and jobs are done. Jobs done. So we can leave it on or off again using this top button. Again, message eat you can change this you can do a custom one which is what i did and showed you a moment ago where i said give everything i could have changed the wording on that but you can just keep it nice and straightforward also if you want to remove that aside from just turning it off you're never going to use that option again you can just remove this and then you're back to everything there as i said you don't have to use these alerts however they are a very very useful feature when it comes to timing both your carbohydrates and your fluid particularly your carbohydrates